What's up, everybody? If you're watching this broadcast, you're a survivor of the coronavirus. If you're suffering from coronavirus and you're quarantined, then you just picked the best, best show to watch. We're suffering together. Cue my intro. Connecticut Casual. <laughs> As Connecticut's leading janitorial company, Limpiex Cleaning Service Inc. utilizes state-of-the-art technology combined with extensive training to deliver top quality services. Since 1992, we have helped homes and businesses in the New Haven County and the surrounding areas with facility maintenance and janitorial services. Our goal is to provide thorough yet efficient services that get the job done without disrupting your day-to-day -day routine. From medical and terminal cleaning to construction cleanup, to janitorial services. We offer comprehensive cleaning options that meet your needs. We specialize in working with industrial companies, offices, medical facilities, surgery centers, schools, buildings, universities, residential, and specialty structures. When you choose LimpiX Cleaning Service, you are choosing the highest quality cleaning services available and delivered by trained professionals. For more information or for a free quote, contact us today at 203 230-8159. We look forward to working with you. Yes, Nick, I'm a sausage guy. Anyway, welcome back to <laughs> Connecticut Casual. This week, we're down one man. God. God fucking be good to him. The coronavirus got him. No, I'm just kidding. He, uh, we just asked him not to come down this week. Because one for me and one for my homies in Bruges. <laughs> We, we only drink PBR, <laughs> fool. The coronavirus. Yeah, we're, we don't drink Corona. <laughs> oh, man. They must be, like, so pissed off right now. <laughs> because Corona they're actually losing money right oh, now. Oh, I know. They said Americans are no longer like, buying Corona. Well, I can't buy. I can't get Corona anyway because all the stores are out of limes. <laughs> you know what's good with <laughs> You know what's good with coronavirus? Lime disease. Uh, I got a meme to put on there for you. <laughs> Boo, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> So, guys, this week, obviously, you're sitting with the crew because we had a gan yeah. we had a cancellation due to coronavirus. Paranoia. Coronavirus oh, yeah. scare. Have you heard of it? Well, if you haven't, kudos to you, man. I really wish I lived in your blind ignorance. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, when you think about it, it's like, all right, we gotta get we gotta get right into coronavirus, or can we talk I mean, about Neil? Do you, man? You're the host, aren't you? I am the host, but I'm like, you know, what do you guys want to talk about? That's um, all we see is coronavirus. I talk about f***ing everything, man. <laughs> I feel like, anyway, before we get into there, uh, have you had Neil's Donuts before? Dude, Chris loves I, Neil's Donuts. I literally... I've sacrificed gaining a very excessive amount of weight in a very short amount of time by <laughs> Let's learning. just be honest, you suck the Neil's dick. I suck... The Neil. The Neil's dick. The Neil. I literally <laughs> served him pizza yesterday. Well, you know what? The, let me tell you something. I haven't you. had it yet. Let me tell you something about it's Neil's. Banging, Let me tell it. you something mm. about Neil's donuts. Dude, you don't need to tell me nothing about. Do you want Neil's to know something donuts. about Neil's donuts? He's been in my hometown. Tell me for something. Like a about, decade, man. It's not Neil's about donuts. the donuts. It's about Neil. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> Neil's Boston cream. Um, <laughs> shut up. See, no, instead, of, instead of injecting the jelly, he like slices it and stuffs it. It's beautiful. No, no, no. <laughs> the game changer is a sausage, egg, and cheese on an everything Ooh. bagel. Mm. It. Sounds like a game changer. I'm not a break, I'm not a bagel guy. What the f get the f out of New I like, England? I like a good croissant and I like a good biscuit. What are you fucking French? Between my in between my. You want to know what? It's funny though how you, Crespo's like, yeah, I like sausage, egg, and cheese on a bagel, and I'm just like, wait a second, I don't think the Jews were expecting you to put pork on it when they brought it here. Oh. <laughs> beef, beef, beef sausage. What? Who, nobody eats beef sausage. If it's made of beef, it ain't sausage. It's steak. And Wait, <laughs> is it? What's not kosher? Is but kosher when pork, you, shellfish? I thought lots it was like when you put like when you put like uh, dairy on beef. That's not kosher, right? 
I have no idea. Do I, I look like the kosher specialist? Bro? I don't know. They said. Do you have any Jewish friends? Call I, and ask. I don't. I have one, but he's also <laughs> and adopted in Colombian. <laughs> Anderson, yeah. <laughs> that's oh, there you go. That's my one Jewish friend, and it's not because I don't. And he's not have... really Jewish. I know it's not. Well, first off, it's well, not because really I... Jewish. I thought uh, you were either Jewish. No, he, or like, not. He's not. He's not a follower. Oh, okay. He's Did he have a bar mitzvah? Jewish. Exactly. Did he have a bar mitzvah? Uh, beats the shit out of me. I, I don't think there. like you could be Jewish unless you had a bar mitzvah. Well, the thing is, when <laughs> you can't be in, Jewish in Judaism, unless you have a bar mitzvah. The thing about bar mitzvah, you, you, you can't that. be a man. Fact check that. Put in the comments. I don't know shit about religion. You get the religion from your mother's side in, Jude in uh, Judaism. Yeah, there's something spiritual about that. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't know that. I don't know how the fuck we got on that subject, but anyway, anyway bagels, um, bagels. Let me tell you, dude. Neil's donuts. They got the egg. They got the meat, they got another egg, and then they got some cheese on it. Yeah, but how are their croissants? Making me hungry already. <laughs> Bro, man. I don't give a f I don't go into goddamn Neil's Donuts and go, can I get another uh, croissant, please? You should. Croissant. Croissant. Are you going to finish that croissant? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, no, my can dude. Can we go through a drive thru and actually do it? Be like, um, I'll get a uh, sausage, egg, and cheese on a croissant. <laughs> I go, you think they'd be like, I, you think they'd act any differently? They'd be like, wait a minute, what? When I go to uh, drive throughs I go, um, hi, I'd like a medium cold brew with Irish creme. And they're like, what? Creme. I'm like, Irish creme. <laughs> there's, there's an accent above the E. It's creme. Creme. <laughs> Irish creme. Please. God damn it. You mean cream? No, there's an accent and there's two E's. Creme. Also, anyway, you also should always get a plain old-fashioned donut from Neil's. Oh, Just... old-fashions are good. Oh, Thank dude, you. Yes. Anyone who says Dunkin an old-fashioned donut. His, his are on point, though. They're crispy. I was at my cousin Sergio's place on Friday night, crispy. and he made, uh, Saturday morning, he made free advertising. Donut. Neil, bro. <laughs> yeah, free advertising. Neil! Sponsor he, he just opened a place in Middletown, too. He's doing well. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's just he's like, I don't need to sponsor your podcast, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't need you guys. Like, all right. Just keep sucking that. I, mean, like, I will suck your dick, Neil. Uh, <laughs> he likes Eastside Pizza? Yeah. It's not the best pizza in Wallingford. Well, he likes his thick crust, I guess, man. He's a thick crust guy? Well, it's like heavy pizza, man. It oh, is. It's, it's a like very, a large is a pound and a half of dough. It's a doughy pizza. Yeah. I think, do you think it's the best pizza in Wallingford? I mean, I'm a I'm a guinea pizza guy personally. Yeah, I mean, I that's eat, a Greek and I, pizza, I'll right? make yeah, that's Greek pizza. Yeah, I like uh, hometown. Hometown's okay. Hometown's good. Oh, Fratelli's. Fratelli's is okay. This is a good I one. usually this is a good one in Cheshire. And my pizza, my yeah, go tos just because they're easier. The, uh, well, the easiest one I go to is Walling for Pizza House. That's a good one. Except yeah, you know, well they deliver. Like, they make wings. They got like everything. There's always crackheads there. Your guys. That's wings why are, I don't go there. I just get delivery. Your bro. guys' wings are fucking bad. There's a place in North Haven called The Bar. And it's yeah, it's really it's like where Manatis used to. Yeah, be, right? yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Speaking of North Haven, Hamden area, I like uh, what's it called, Ludals. Ludals. You got you got to go back to Meriden, dude. Napoli. Napoli's is okay. It is the shit. You know just don't really... get their dinners because they stuff their meatballs with bread like tradi what? like traditional. And it's just like it's not traditional. They did that because they were poor. Like, <laughs> dude, you know what's really good watery too? sauce and bread in your meatballs. Okay. Iliano's, my guy. Iliano's got some fire pizza you know, in Meriden. <laughs> we just looked at this thing off. Everyone's bro, everybody's like, quarantined, everyone's bro. Like, right? You're quarantined, yeah, bitch. Where, where do I call it? Dude, a lot of these places are going to be still delivering through the quarantine and shit. And you know what, bro? They're faster than ever. We ordered fucking chilies on DoorDash on a Saturday night, dude. Them shit, them motherfuckers are there in 20 minutes. <laughs> They're usually like hour and a 45. I'm like, whatever, bitch. That's why I like getting Chinese food. They're like, yeah, 40, 40 minutes, and it's just like 20 minutes later is at your door. How? Chinese food? <laughs> yeah. Oh, still, like, well, Hong they're Kong? hurting right now, man. You still getting Chinese food? No lie. Sometimes. Okay, what? Come I'm just, on I'm now. Not saying, listen, listen, you, you know, still getting Chinese food? I try to go out No, I'll be f***ing Chinese food. I'm just saying. A lot of people aren't f***ing <laughs> Chinese food. We just had Chinese food on Monday. Why? Because yeah, of exactly. coronavirus. That is the stupidest, most ignorant thing I've you ever heard. You don't think I'm fucking, I'm right there I know with you, you know that, but you they need to beer? know this. Listen, <laughs> if you think every it's Chinese nice person beer. is sick, you're an idiot. <laughs> There's billions of Chinese people. Like, <laughs> And most of the people who are here who are Asian uh, are not sick. <laughs> That's true. Just because they're Asian does not well, mean they're sick. staying away from China, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> right, right now is yeah. not a good time to go to China. I don't know, bro. I'll still f*** Chinese food right now. Yeah. I wouldn't. Right now, I would. Hell you yeah. wouldn't? I would. Right now. Oh, yeah, dude. We should order, <laughs> we should order some Chinese food. Some, some, <laughs> some bonus spare <laughs> ribs, dude? Hell yeah. Support the Asians in this time of tragedy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, it's not their fucking <laughs> fault. Right? Well, mm. also, they do say that in China, like, for, for dudes from China who are delivering your Chinese food, 
probably haven't been to China in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, man. They're yeah. just chilling. That's and what I'm saying. the guys who are driving and delivering the food, they're white. Dude, they're, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're living on delivery, <laughs> delivery and restaurant salaries, bro. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> not here. Well, maybe <laughs> now with coronavirus, they can get there, bro. Maybe. Plane tickets no, are they, so they cheap. Can't, they're, like, most of the planes and shit are getting shut down. Yeah, but they're cheap, Everything's though. getting shut down. Yeah. Gary Khan got shut down. My parents we were going to go to Gary Khan. My parents had a cruise to Europe. So they're not going because so got shut down. I saw so much Phoenix porn. No, no. I did. We're not cutting that out. <laughs> We're not cutting that. We're not cutting that. I want I gotta, to know. I got to see this. I'll watch that later. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm, I'm supporting her. What's her name? Satine Phoenix. Satine Phoenix. She's cool, man. She's a... She is she's, cool. She does... She does I didn't she, like... She, I was she just watching her... on the official D&D channel. Yeah, Sides I was... Of the coast. I was research. I was doing research. That's he what was, they all say. He was, it was for research. He rolled his sleeves up and... That's what I was saying when I was 13, doing bro. <laughs> like, what are you doing on the computer? Research. Research. <laughs> <laughs> Like that's that. how when I first started Half Life, close the door. When I first started Half Life, I used to tell Crystal, "I'm like, I'm playing video games, so I have someone to talk about the podcast. Get out of here." <laughs> she was just like, "Yeah, yeah, you're right." No, I actually did do that because we did have a video game episode, so I was, yeah. I was, <laughs> I just, I know she's gonna listen to this and be like, "That mother." <laughs> <laughs> she was just like, "How about you have an episode about getting off your fat ass?" <laughs> <laughs> she would never say that. <laughs> she loves me. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> Do you almost spit it out? I almost spit it out. I was close. No, I Let do. see that uh, CBD over there. Oh, my God. Where's the CBD from, by the way? Uh, ah! Fiend, bro. <laughs> the remedy? <laughs> Liar! Oh, oh. Actually, okay. I, I, I got roses last week. Hold on, week. It was hold delicious. on. Let me be real. Something's coming soon, and I'm that's doing, why. I'm doing a, a thing in Connecticut, since we had the remedy on, where I'm going to every major CBD seller in Connecticut... And I'm trying all their products to compare it. So far, I'll tell you the people I've gone to. I've had, uh, obviously, The Remedy. Um, I've had Timeless. I've had Your CBD. I've had two, Green Roads. Um, I did try something from a gas station. Yeah, I was going to say, um, so all of these are like specifically... specifically <laughs> All of these are specifically craft CBD places. No, they're just no, 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 no. CBD. Just CBD. Sellers. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Because, like, when I think CBD seller, I'm just like, oh, that convenience store, that tobacco shop, Cum Cumberland it's Farms. Always, like, well, well, like, the remedy is not tobacco Yeah, shop. I know, it's I know. CBD. That's it's, what I'm saying, though. Yeah. Are these other ones you're naming the... Just they're, CBD. They are, you mean, like, are they mainly CBD sellers? Is yes. that all they sell, really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So... That's um, weird that they that's all they sell, but they don't craft it themselves like the remedy. Well, what they... Well, the remedy... They'll they get their produce their produce and they get their 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 ingredients and then they make it in house. Okay. Um, your guys, CBD or they have a timeless, farm in yeah, Colorado. They have, they have their own farm which oh, they grow shit. and cultivate themselves. And then they That's mass insane. produce it. In, exactly. They mass produce it in Florida and send it here. But this so, is totally different though because yeah. you know your CBD and um, timeless those are chain. CBD stores. Yes. Like the remedy is not a chain. Yeah, they have well, two they got now, two, but, but it doesn't but make it a, a yeah, chain. Not, and timeless chain. only has three, two at well. least three oh, links okay. to have a chain. From what man. in Connecticut that we see, they oh, only have but two. But in links. other states, I don't know. I think doubt it. Right. So here's no? here's my from the bottom. I'm just saying up. they're pretty Let's see. recent. I'm gonna do like a top, top, top to from the lowest to the best. So okay. from the lowest, obviously, is gas station CBD. Wouldn't fuck with it. All right. The next. To be totally honest with you, I would say Timeless. Timeless CBD has uh, such a small selection. Uh, their gummies are really low in milligrams. Um, they don't really have a lot of options. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm just being real. Step up your game, you know. Yeah, like you have a lot of competition. At exactly. This point. Then I would say um, your CBD is next. It would be like if Neil's Donuts only sold donuts. It's like... Yeah, where's the sandwiches? Uh, yeah, right? I could go somewhere else and get yeah, everything I want. Exactly. Your CBD, though, they're in third place, or I think it would be fourth place. I don't know. Anyway, I think, though, I think it's third place. They'd be in third yeah. place. Um, I like their selection. I liked the full spectrum that of selection that they had. I liked the <clears throat> gummy selection they had. They had, you know, <clears throat> all the lotions, all the, all the bath bombs, all the good stuff. Um, but... They only sell vegan gummies, and I wasn't a fan of the. Well, actual... I mean, like Sour Patch Kids are <clears throat> vegan, man. But the oh, taste is so good. There, there, there's no sugar, no anything. And while well, they're really sugar is is vegan though. While they're really good for you, it was just 
not great. They weren't tasty? They weren't tasty, yeah. Okay. I think that's important when yeah. you do gummies. I think yeah, that you tasty. should want to have a taste. Like, if it's got, like, a off, like, chemical hints or something like that, something yeah. off about yeah. it, it really just sets off. Uh, second place is off. definitely Green Roads. Um, I'm currently doing their OG Relax. I like Green Roads. They're mass-produced. They're, you could buy them at, at pretty much any uh, vape shop that sells. Most of them sell Green Roads. I like Green Roads. Um, their gummies are fantastic. Like, literally, like, hit the wall um, with some great shit. Sour gummy bears are fucking fire. Um, and they have, you know, a good selection of, uh, of vapes. Um, I'm really not a fan of their tincture. But their vapes are pretty good. And the Remedy tincture was banging. And then the Remedy would definitely be number one. Yeah. The Remedy is number one. And it's not because we've become friends with Alex. And it's not because <laughs> they're on the show. It's not. No, it he, really... he, from what I told, I could tell just from that tincture you gave me, he yeah. goes out of his way to, like, make that shit tasty. Yes. So my thing is about that. And he that, knows his shit. I listened to the episode. Yeah. I think that, you know, you have knowledgeable staff, which is really important, um, you know. Then you also have a great selection of stuff, which is so you really... You told me it's like barbecue sauce? Barbecue sauce. Yeah, that's um, insane. They have chocolate. They have... They're now in their Middletown store. They're experimenting, trying to get smoothies started. They, they got a bunch of shit. Their tincture is phenomenal. Like, Alex puts some great, like, wellness qualities of, like, cinnamon and, and other extracts in there with CBD, but really complement... Um, their carts are really good. I like the wood tip of the cart. It's like more of a natural type of cart. Okay. Um, yeah, wood yeah. Tips are glassy. Yes. You ever smoke a black and mild wine wood tip? Oh, best. oh best. Best ones. They always make you smell good afterwards oh. too. Um, <laughs> then um, they also they, they have so much stuff. So you know, go from what I've tried so far. The Remedy is still number one. I think they're fantastic. Again, you always see me on twitch.tv slash Half Life Start playing all the newest and fun games. Come join me, subscribe, follow. You know, I'm on there almost at least five days a week. But anyway, besides that, um, go on, go check them out, man. Um, you know, Alex is a great guy. His Wallingford in Middletown? Wallingford yeah. in Middletown. So if you're looking for a great CBD product, um, you that tablet, boy. Sorry, go check it out. I'm right. keeping it on because, you know, what the f you did my shit? Well, it's a I thought you were supposed to be setting an example. Exactly. Maybe I got kids at home. You <laughs> Damn, got no kids Nick. at home. Not, not get cutting him any, any slack. And my kids no are still no in my slack. sack, bro. <laughs> Don't cut me no slack. Well, my hey. second beer. How about you, Chris? Oh, come on, boy. <laughs> Catch up. How many did you bring? Bring? Like 15. <laughs> I like it. Oh, no. Well, I thought, I thought today was the Griff interview. This I know. Group. He's not going to drink. He just wants you to drink. Oh, okay. He's in AA. I'll get trashed as fuck. Yeah, he's in AA. He cannot drink. I mean, he I definitely to had to admit him. that I was an alcoholic and an addict before. I like it. But, at right. an NA meeting. <laughs> anyway, look at my hair. Evan, cut that out. Ugh. Cut that on somebody else. Don't cut out don't your cut hair? Out. I don't think Evan's a barber, bro. No, I mean, like, cut. <laughs> don't show that part. That's at, a, that's at oh, around 18 minutes. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, Did any of you see the Sonic movie? No. F you it's not bad. That. I'm, I'm Jim interested. Carey? Jim Carrey made me laugh. Who, is, who does he play? He plays uh, Dr. Robotnik. Oh, I have, now I have to see it's the movie. Good. He's a skinny Robotnik, but it's so he's funny, skinny? man. He's the skinny Robotnik? He's, well, at first he's skinny. Oh, and then he gets fat. I don't know. It does, they don't show him getting fat. Oh, what the? So, I don't know. Maybe the second one. Oh, is there okay. is there setting up for another one? Maybe. Maybe. They're, they are definitely. Yeah, they made Sonic definitely. look way better. I mean, without though. ruining the end of the movie, they did. They set it up for um, another Before we get into this, pretty much the, the remainder of the topic of this episode, which will be... Coronavirus. I really the whole episode. <clears throat> pretty much. I mean, let's be real. The second long, half, anyway. The second half of this episode. Uh, I want to talk to you about Olympiax, <laughs> Olympiax cleaning services. If you, in this time and crisis of, of of mass hysteria, want to make sure that you're keeping things sanitary and clean, call Olympiax cleaning services. They specialize in uh, uh, lots of great things. I mean, you know, oh, industrial you, medical. Like, yeah, you you hear residential. them residential. Yeah. Yes, residential is really big right now. If you're, you know, family coming home, like if you're a doctor, if you're a nurse, if you're in that field and you're looking to get your house sanitized, uh, you know, with the hard work you do every day, you're bringing germs home with you, give Olympiacs a call, you know, offering all these really good things. They're taking care of some of our schools here in Connecticut, uh, cleaning it up, making sure it's sanitized so your kids go back in a really clean environment. Uh, you guys hear their ads on every single episode well not every single episode almost <laughs> every single episode of connecticut casual and it's because we really believe in their their services so if you're looking for 
you know, some cleaning in your house, give LimpyX a call. They're located in Ham- Hamden at 34 Rossio Park Road. Um, 203-230-8159. You heard it. Give them a call. All right, guys. And with that being said, we're going back to talk about coronavirus. Okay, so what are we going to talk about about so the coronavirus? So here's my thing that we're seeing. First, I want to ask you guys, do you think this is blown out of proportion? Um, I feel like it's it's a measured response, and it's going to get worse for at least the next few months. But that doesn't mean everyone should be as paranoid as they are. Yeah, don't buy out the grocery store. Yeah, I literally can't get toilet paper because you're all freaking out. <laughs> Amazon, baby. Amazon <laughs> is out. They're out? They're out. Yeah. I don't believe it. That's how insane I'm it is. Up, I'm going to look up Charlotte. I went like, right it, was, it was like five days ago I went to get cases of water. The whole water section at Walmart was empty. Water, um, you know, no, this nothing. Is, as a parent, dude, this is where I'm coming. Three from. days later, only Dasani had delivered. Currently unavailable? What? Yeah. Oh my. People goodness. are freaking out, dude. What? As a parent, dude, the people who are buying baby wipes, baby man. wipes, yeah, sure, but regular toilet paper, one ply, like nobody wants one ply. But oh, one dude, ply. Baby, yeah, I'll deal bro, with one ply just right so now, I can if wipe you're my. You're buying baby wipes, my guy. If you're buying. Packs of fucking baby wipes to wipe your own fucking ass when there's people out there with kids. Yo, you're a piece of fucking shit, man. Well, no offense, dude. If they had toilet paper to buy, they wouldn't be buying the baby I'm wipes. I'm not saying that. And then again, like, why Why did we not say, like, what, once Walmart saw all these fucking people buying all this fucking shit, then they should have put a fucking stop before there was a shortage. I'm, I'm like, I'm just being honest. Like, if you're, you're seeing people leave with nothing but toilet paper in their damn Baskets, man. Yeah, you I know? mean, to, to Walmart's credit, this happened very fast. It, it happened you know very I mean? fast. And, and there's you gotta like, you gotta understand that there's logistics involved. So yeah, it's like Walmart could stop it, but like you can't just call in every single trucker that's driving the shipment over to uh, the Wallingford Walmart and be like, "Yeah, turn around, bring it back." You know what I mean? No, yeah. I'm not saying. <laughs> what I'm saying is when it's re- gone, it's gone. It's, no, you know? no, the retail <laughs> stores should do what they're doing now, which is putting limiting first off the time you can go into the store. Second, they're limiting the quanti- quality quantity of items you may buy of that caliber. To Wait, make, you said limiting the time they can go into the store? Yeah, so stop, so we, and, stop instead and shop. Instead of being a 24-hour? Stop and shop is changing hours. Not every single Walmart is 24 See, hours. what I'm I think, though, sure. if you start restricting the hours, that's going to put more people in closer contact, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's which is idea. worse but for the virus. They're starting to organize it where, you know, they have people in a line. So if you are you have general shoppers, just, dude, they're treating it like Black Friday. That's really kind of all their option is. You know, you have the people going in, you're in a standard line, you get a quantity of this much because the shortage and the outcry is causing so much more problems in the retail Yeah, no, stores. limiting it, yeah, sure, that's great. But the thing is, is No like, more than like two toilet I also think this is a case-by-case case basis because I went this morning to Walmart mm-hmm. and it wasn't that bad. Although at the same the, time, the, like... The shelves were kind of, you know, there were, there were parts the same time, the you, you found toilet you paper? Have four people, you Where? have four people in, in your house. In Walmart. In Hamden, Walmart? Yeah. Well... Man, yeah, you guys well, better hurry not up. Much, like, but, <laughs> but then there's there, there's a disconnect because you have four people in your house. I only have two. Yeah. So like you might be getting screwed if they limit it to like two packs of paper, two packs of water. No, I, what I'm saying is like, do you see the some of the people that Evan? I'm gonna send you a couple of clips. You know, you could put them in the small this the look the small thing. There are so many people, man, that are just going to Walmart to buy the. The toilet papers, twenty like the big things, but they're buying everything they could fit in their carriage. Yeah, you know people yeah, are crazy. losing their f-ing minds. I'm sorry, Chop. Like they're losing Chop's like, oh. their minds. I mean, it's this. not as bad as last week. That's not <laughs> pretty bad. It's getting there. Oh god. Oh, but man. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's like chill out. And what? But we're like baby wipes, man. Yeah. Bu- they're buying baby wipes and they're buying baby formula. Because it lasts longer than milk. Isn't that fucking nuts? It's Sorry, insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Because it's like now, you know, I don't want to go out in public and buy all this crap. You know, I don't. I also don't want to feel like I have to be rushed to go buy my daughter, like, formula and, yeah. and baby wipes. Like, you have a baby. Like, what? People are nuts, dude. People are nuts, man. It's and like it, every time there's there's like a snowstorm, people buy like six gallons of milk. I'm like, it's going to be one day. What are you worried we about? We have never seen this in our lifetime. We have never seen No, yeah, it. this is the only time that a, um, what, uh, what was the virus type? The coronavirus type. Yeah. It's not an influenza. It's a SARS type virus. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it was the first time in, a, in the past century that there's been an epidemic because of that. Well, they're comparing it. 
this is the part that gets people all paranoid. They're getting they're comparing it to like the Spanish flu. They're comparing it to you know like these. I mean, the Spanish flu was worse because people over here had no antibodies to fight it. Yeah, well, it was also targeting people in the in like you know our age. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but this this seems to only be going for older people and people with serious pre existing conditions, lung disease, heart disease, diabetes. diabetes. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, smokers are a little bit more at risk, but we have no actual proof of the age gap on that because the only study we had was uh, Asian people over 60, and it's men generally smoke and women generally don't, and it was like a 4% change in the But uh, it's just, it's like, wow, man. You know what I'm saying? Just like see, seeing like this hysteria. Like, all right, so Chop, you, you work in Stop and Shop. Give us an update about what's been going on. So... Today at work, we got no delivery of the grocery load. It was canceled, and we don't have supplies. <laughs> like, supplies didn't come in because they were on that load. We don't know when they're coming. We're running out of stuff. Like, it's getting bad. <laughs> yeah, and then um, you guys are limiting your hours? Yeah, so, like, for the associates, our schedules don't change. We still have to work and be there and try to, like, restock and clean stuff and do what we can to replenish whatever. But, yeah, it's getting cut to 8 o'clock is closing, and we're opening a little later at 7.30 in the morning, so. Yeah. So, see, man, it's like. I can't go to Stop and Shop anyway because I'm a 3.30 to midnight worker. They're closed <laughs> when I get out of work. Yeah, but th it's just, you know, they're. And that also sucks. Like, if Walmart, I don't know if the 24 hours will be affected, but I heard that they're also I hope not because there's way less people there at 4 in the morning. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I like imagine. how, I like. Well, chop, dude. I'm. Uh, you mean, dude? I'm sorry. You have to go to work, and it feels that way. That sucks, bud. I'm gonna start wearing a bandana. Some, sometime. Yeah. yeah. You're over here cutting meats for motherfuckers. Damn. That's why we gotta. Dude, uh, it's getting to the there. point where like you could cough in public and people start giving you dirty looks. Just like dude, I'm you a get beat up. I'm a smoker, dude. I don't have a coronavirus. Why are you so paranoid? It's an awkward time to have bad. Allergies. Even if you got sick, <laughs> like you think you can beat me up. If you think you can beat me up, you're not old enough to die from this thing. All right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> look, man. Like, it's it's like just chill out. You know, I. And the problem is, is this, is that you know, I was on Twitch the other night. I'm going to I'll screenshot a clip and send it to you guys so you can hear. And I'm just over here like, ah, oh, it's not going to be that big of a deal. And then, but the thing is, is like through the days, the hysteria really kind of sets in. And I'm like, look. not to say it's not serious, but at the same time, people are overreacting. But have Absolutely. you ever, like, have you thought about this? Has, the, has this thought gone through any of your minds? Like, this is me now. Am I underreacting to this? Because people are really freaking out. Am I underreacting? No. I'm not. All right. So no, that thought no, I, no, I know how cautious you are. You have a measured response and you're reacting efficiently. Yeah. These people are buying, you know, six gallons of milk, 60, 600 rolls of toilet paper, yeah, like no, 80 packs and of the water. People that are buying it and then selling it. Ridiculous. They're, they're the worst. Ridiculous. You dude. should get Dude, that's, the, that's like my exact will, problem will, with scalpers with concert tickets, man. <laughs> no, man. That's a whole other thing. Everyone's becoming a scalp. I will literally beat your ass. Like, if I see you <laughs> selling supplies out your... Uh, like toilet paper? I will, I will personally... Unless you're, unless you're selling it at price. <laughs> no, no. At Even then. That. If you have went to the store... Like if I had my truck... I like I would have gone out of my way to fill the back of my truck and then bring you guys rolls of toilet paper. There, that's a different. You know story. what I mean? These guys who are like, like, listen, listen. This is a fucking serious thing right here. Yeah, these people. And are I'm going to be honest with you. Like it's the end of the goddamn world. If it's I, like it's going to kill less than a million. If people. I see anyone selling toilet paper, baby wipes, baby formula, hand sanitizer, I'm going to come cough on Germex, you. anything like that. Over the, if you're not being a good Samaritan and handing it out or just being like, hey man, I could sell you mine for, you know, four bucks, like I would have paid it at the store. Five dollars a squirt. If, <laughs> yeah, if I see that, dude, we're gonna fist fight. Oh, uh, on, on some serious level, dude. Oh, it'll go I way will, past that if I'm I involved, will beat man. your fing ass. And honestly, because there are people who are literally freaking out. Like, I like to have Germex on my baby's changing stand. I like my daughter to have goddamn formula. Stop being a little bitches. Like, it make, it's so frustrating. It's like me and my brother have seven rolls of toilet paper. We can't get any more. And you guys are big motherfuckers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we big fucks. All right? Like. You know what they say about big guys. Big shits. <laughs> like, I need at least six squares per wipe, bro. <laughs> 
Like, yeah, dude, I like- and That's conservative. <laughs> we over here having to get that little finger shit where we gotta put our- Oh, that bullshit. Put that oh, little dude. put your finger in. You see, with you that, see video, that other man. piece that's left? Use that to get underneath yeah, your nail. Yeah, dude, I you just, gotta- I just saw that a new video with that with a white guy who copied that video and just like- <laughs> If it got more views, I'm gonna be pissed. Me too. <laughs> it didn't, I promise. That guy was great. Another thing, though, that's gross as shit. It is, it's, it's disgusting. No, 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 another thing that's gross is just the fact- the, the amount of people I've seen come out of the bathroom at Stop and Shop and not wash their hands. I'll fight Ugh. you. Come on now. I'm, I'm about to start ca calling them out. Like, I don't want to fight them. I don't want, yo, their, sh I don't want yo, their shit hands touching bitch. me, bro. Just, just be standing there and just be like, yo, how about you How about you turn around, bro? Wash your hands, Just be a security bro. guard in the bathroom I can't making imagine sure Mitch, everyone washes their hands. Mitch is going to be in hand. the back of the deli like, you dirty <laughs> <laughs> It's like standing behind them yeah, as they're like right? taking a piss. You, you dirty as You better wash just your like, hands. Just go get some like gangbanger from Meriden. Give him like $100, be like, stand in the bathroom all day and threaten well, anyone who Meriden. does not wash their hands. Why well, I gotta be from Mer Meriden? He's, he's from talking Wallen, shit about you. That's the closest ghetto. <laughs> Meriden! Nick is talking shit about you guys. Oh, and Mitch wow. is in every stop and shop like, yo, you dirty <laughs> Like, wash your hands, you bitch! <laughs> oh my God. Wash your hands! It's crazy. I just said Meriden because it's the closest place to Wallingford with gangbangers. Ah, uh, come Fair. on, it's Meriden, man. Yeah, but there's no gangbangers in Wallingford. I don't know, you never know. All right, maybe First in what, off, the trailer dude, park, bro? Hold up. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wallingford, bro, you got, you got Warren Brook. You yeah. don't think, like, all the drug dealers in Wallingford... They dude, I literally hung out at Wharton Wharton and Brook for, like, ten years, never met a gangbanger. Bro, you notice how, like, mad heads from Warren Brook have passed away? Have they? Yeah. I didn't notice. Oh, as long as, like, Louis okay, I like that kid. Uh, yeah. They're gonna shut down the deli. What? They shut down the deli. They shut down the deli? Yeah. On the corner? Yeah. Hey, yo, the what? deli. It's going, it's just shut it down. Well, what? They were selling coke <laughs> out of the upstairs? Yo, the or deli, something? bro. The <laughs> deli's going, son. <laughs> they Dude, shut I, it down. I went, I went there like one time. This little black kid just started like punching me. I'm like, what the f is going on? Why you gotta be black? No, he just was. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Okay, yeah, His go. mom was like, I'm sorry. I'm like, You're just I, don't, being I don't really care. He's like a six year old kid, just like screwing around. You know what I mean? Whacking around. Just the How yeah, old were you? I mean, I was like 19, 20 at the time. He was just like, Yo, f you. You white. No, he wasn't like, f you. He was just like, <laughs> He was just being weird. You know what I mean? Huh? He was just being weird. He was being, <laughs> being a <laughs> kid. Sorry. No, but bro, like, you don't do dumb shit when we're kids. Being a crime. You get, I want you to block out all these names with different animal sounds, Mitch. All right? You ready? <laughs> no, gosh, You ready for no. real? I'm not even kidding. You ready? I, I you got this, bro. Every every different animal sound you can. Dead? Dead. Dead. Fucking, <laughs> um... Uh... Dead. Dead. <laughs> uh, there's like, uh... Dead. <laughs> No. Yeah, dude. What? Dad, two years How? Ago. ODs. Every All of them? Every single one of them. I mean, that surprises me less than <laughs> anything else you could have told me. Dead. I don't know if I remember <laughs> that one. All right. Are you ready? You got all those animal sounds? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send you some. We'll work on it on Tuesday. God damn. I love you. Love you. Dude, I remember <laughs> sparring um, in the back of, uh, what was it, Dom's, in the back with Dom's brother, Shredo, oh. a bunch of people. We were just, like, sparring. Right after school, I, like, picked him up. We went in the back of his house, put on gloves. You just think about, like, how, you know, all those people are gone now. I can't, that's, I oh, my God. That's sad, dude. We I love, dude, too. he he got that surgery. He was, like, losing a shit ton of weight. I know. I know, there's, just people just, <laughs> oh, dude. You just kind of like look around and you're just like, when things are crazy, you just like think about like people you want to, like good times. When all this crap goes down, and you're just kind of like. That's kind of why I'm glad like my boy little Mike just went to Florida. Yeah. Because well, he, he was struggling before he left. It's down there too. It's down there too, man. You know, like I even, like I love Griff, but I get worried about. It's just like up here, everyone he knows. Tom. Yeah, it's like I get worried about all that. Like you just get worried about people with all this hysteria going around as well, you know. You know, people don't really pay attention to people who may not need the attention. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, like, you know, depending on, look, I'm not trying to get preachy, but, you know, depending on maybe your AA, uh, the size of your group, maybe, you know, depending on the size of your NA group, maybe getting canceled, all those things are considered extracurricular. Yeah. You know, so it's like. Even though they're a huge part a huge of your support part. system when huge. you're dealing with that shit. 
Absolutely. So you just kind of like, you think about it and you're like, damn, man. Like, you know, during so all this crazy stuff, struggle with we're only going to see like, you know, it's, it's going to get worse before it gets better. But, you know, we got to stop and take a look at people who are, you know, people who we've lost, people who are in recovery, people who, you know, need those extracurricular activities and now they're getting canceled. Send them a text. Give them yeah. a call. Yeah. If you, if you guys, uh, yeah. in a couple of weeks, you'll, you'll see a good buddy of mine. And I mean, I'm that kind of guy that like, no matter how much it. I do, I feel like it's not enough. You know, bro, I'll tell you what. After, I don't give a fuck, I'll be real. Um, you know, I get, uh, I got a friend who drives me crazy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I've and had. He, and he's like, uh, he's he's in the midst of, of getting clean and help. And, you know, some days, dude, like, all you could do is just be their friend. Yeah. And, like, just remember, like, the times and talk about the times when that wasn't the most prominent thing in their life. And, yeah. you know, uh. That's something that I do with my buddy, and we just joke around. And even though some days it's exhausting, because I'm not the same person, you know. So it's like you hear about all the old stories, and you're like, "All right, God, I was a d bag. (laughs) I was such, I was such an asshole. Oh, dude, man, I literally told somebody a story from high school, and they were like." You were old enough to not be that big of a dick. And I was like, yeah, but. (laughs) I didn't grow up until I was like 22. (laughs) uh, I'm probably the same for me. I didn't grow up till I was like twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, I did a lot of stupid stuff. Like, we, I was actually talking to my buddy the same one I was just talking about about like old days in high school and getting into fights or like in senior year, right? <laughs> I'll tell you, um, I was in a play, A Beauty and the Beast. Um, are you three in? You got about yeah. six left. <laughs> oh man. Hold up. This, this is, is probably I'm one almost of the, done with my number three. Best cruise I've ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting drunk on PBR because aside from the dedicated tsunami crew episode, the tsunami that, crew was, really that was good. I like that. If one. you guys that enjoyed one. that episode, you know, give this one a like. So wait, why am I a boomer though? Oh, I, I just honestly that's become the joke, dude. Oh, okay. Boomer, boomer. <laughs> you, didn't know Drake, you didn't know Drake and Josh. I, I've seen Drake yeah, and Josh. Yeah, but you didn't <laughs> like Drake and Josh. I mean, yeah, I mean, I didn't watch Nickelodeon because... Boomer. Because when I was a kid, everybody called me Nickelodeon. Oh. I was a Cartoon Network fan. It was depressing. Oh, No, I refuse to watch it. If your name was Ka. It's like every time I walked into the cafeteria in elementary school, it was Nick, 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 Nick. But God damn it. Nickelodeon. I love, I loved Nickelodeon. And I loved Cartoon Network. I almost wore my Invader Zim shirt today. <laughs> oh, man, that was such a good show. Invader Zim was good. I loved that it show. It was great. Um, but anyway. What didn't was they bring it? it back? They brought it back on Netflix? Was it? No, they brought back. I like how we're just getting the new movie. Right? We, we were like, it's, yeah, we're going to talk about Corona for the next half of the episode. They got into, like, yeah, other shit. <laughs> because you know what, dude? That's, not, that's what podcasts are. Fair enough. <laughs> we do whatever we want to do. We improvise. Every single scene that I'm fixing my hair, Evan, I want you to take it out. Anyway, keep it in. No, take it just, out. Keep it in. Just flip to Nick or Fran. Um, <laughs> executive order. There's no executive put, th- order. Put three of, of Chris in different uh, contrasts on the screen but, fixing his hair. Uh, you're stupid. <laughs> like, a, like one of those, what was that show? Um, the 70s show? When they're all like... <laughs> Just a bunch of uh, just a bunch of creases. It was like yeah, four four the four corners Hanging of the screen. Around. It was like everybody doing different stuff. <laughs> around the street. You know the name of that song? No. It's uh, well, I forget the name of the song, but it's by Big Star. Big Star. In the yeah. Big so Star. and the uh, the opening to the to that is actually them singing it. Is that one of those like one hit? Yeah, one that was like their only good there song. There were so many. <laughs> Chris is trying to catch up. Oh, that was a good slide. That's what I do, bro. <laughs> I, like I may not be able to make you all your mixed drinks, but I do know how to pass you a beer. <laughs> but um, <laughs> we should do this more often. Just have beers and sling beers on crew episodes. Why not? Poor I'm Matt. I'm down. Matt, finish your beers. <laughs> yeah, Matt. Right? <laughs> he oh, finished them faster uh, than Matt, you, Fran. Matt's f***ed up. Matt's f***ed up. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, Matt. Matt's Chop! Like... I'm sorry. But um, <laughs> so in high school, I was in this play, Beauty and the Beast. Okay. I was Gaston. <laughs> Gaston. I could see that. Gaston. I, I could see that. I played that. a good Gaston. But, um, <laughs> Just get all like chest puffy. <laughs> I never did anything theater in high school. But I didn't do who anything. Is, who played your little bitch? 
LeFou. Yeah. Um, this kid, Gilberto. 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 He was the worst. Sounds like his, you're a little bitch. He was the worst. <laughs> what if he's a fan? <laughs> Don't go f***. <laughs> Don't be. Don't be. <laughs> I guess we're down one subscriber. You're a terrible. Gilberto. Yeah, bye, Gilberto. <laughs> you're a terrible. <laughs> All right, so anyway, that's not, that's not part of the story. All right, anyway. But during like our play practice one year, this kid, I'm gonna name, I'm name dropping all these bitches, but this kid, I guess ho- his name was Jose. Uh, this other kid, Josh. This other dude named James. I think it was us three. I'm pr- this guy, my George, may have been there, but I know I remember the other guys were there. <clears throat> Went to McDonald's for the play break, and we smoked some bud. Yeah. So then this girl Ashley got all upset that we were smoking bud, and got all upset. So then they told apparently. They all said it was my weed. I'm like, my dude, it's not my weed. But anyway, so like the next day at school, principal calls me down. Officer calls me down. They're like, you need to open your locker. And I'm like, all right. And then they went to go open my locker, open it up, and it was empty. And they're like, why is your locker empty? I was like, because I don't use it. They're like, let me check your backpack. I was just like, I'm going to have a backpack. Uh, and they're like, where do you keep your books? I'm like, I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Joke's on you. Yeah, right? You pig. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> so I'm like. I'm like sitting here and I'm like, you know how many people have tried to cop out by calling me a snitch? It's like, dude, you know my f-ing family is my dude. Guy? I've literally been arrested twice, didn't say shit. <laughs> no, people who think, people who like go under this cop out, like, you know, they a snitch. I'm like, my dude, like, what? Because you don't like pers- me? Yeah, yeah, right. Like, <laughs> I don't. I hate your guts. I don't talk about you. Exactly. <laughs> so stupid, bro. But yeah, like you know, I went to school. I went to uh, high school with some stupid assholes. If you're fans of the show right Wait, now. Wait, you went to high school in Meriden, right? Yeah. Okay, then. Well, they're assholes. <laughs> the only people I had respect for. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. The <laughs> only people I had respect for in high school. I don't name drop them. I'll give a f- <laughs> I loved. Mitch. Shout- <laughs> quack these names. No, don't quack these. These are good. These are people I loved. Oh, okay. These are all respect for. Oh, respect gotcha, gotcha. for. First off. But if you bleep it, it'll give it some ambiguity, so people ooh. might think it's them. I don't give a shit. I want the people to know who I respect. I thought you I, wanted subscribers, man. I do. <laughs> you can cut Look, that. Look, I'm, I'm saying, like, you know, at the same day, like, it's not that I didn't respect you. I just didn't f*** with you. All right? So, <clears throat> I loved the following. Junior year, my best bro was Chris Richards, fan of the show, and on Twitch. I don't know any of these people. Love you, buddy. Great guy. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just shouting people out real quick. My good buddy and reason yes. that I met Nadia. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, I forgot. Do I not? Yeah, dude. Yes, Mitch also knows Chris. Oh, he was my boy in, in, in uh, my freshman year of high school. He got me through a lot of crap. Um, even though we haven't seen each other in a long time and we had falling outs, you were still my boy who hooked me up for a long time. Uh, then Harley Carter, obviously one person I respected. He gave me a home. I haven't we'll seen be him playing in a D&D while, soon. bro. Exactly. Good friend, good buddy. Uh, I still got his book. I got to give him his book. Yep. Anthony DeJesus. That's I, another Twitch. He's another Twitch and Twitch. loyal fan of the, of the show. You're the man. Love you, bud. Respected you. I mean, again, had our ups and downs, but I liked you. Um, and... That's about it. I mean, like, oh, look, man. it's not that I don't respect you. It's that... Oh, Nadia, obviously. I mean, like, was my... If we're going to go all the way through high school, Nadia was, like, one of my best friends, which is Mitch's wife. Um, she was my best friend. I wouldn't have known Mitch if it wasn't for her. And Lord. Jeez. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> we love Mitch. Thank you. <laughs> Friggin', like, I don't know, man. Like, it's like, there's just friends that you have that get your back through stuff. You know what I mean? And, like, that weren't punk-ass babies who would snitch you out. Like when you yeah. try to break circles, I've realized when you try to like go into different circles is when people start betraying you. Yeah. You know what I, I feel mean? like it's harder to go all in at this age too though. But you know what I mean? School, like like I meet people and friends. I have like they I feel like I have an expectation they have to act like at least at a certain level or I'm just not even going to give them my time. You well, know what I mean? Back I then I was just like if you're cool with me, I'm cool with you and I got your back. I won't rat, I won't snitch. I won't do anything to f- ever until you do something to me. Yeah. Like, I, I had, like, boys. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I had a couple of friends who, who have had my back through a lot of a lot of crap. You can't slide that as good. Nope. But, it's not a can of beer. I can't do it. You know, a lot of people have either have fallen off 
you know what I mean? Like they're just falling off as friends. Um, you know, some grow up and have families. Some grow up and be bitches. I don't know what you want me to say about that. They just do. Um, but like, I don't know. This shit is tasty. Right? It's good. It's OG. I've learned in my age, I won't say old age because I'm not old, but yeah. in my age that I let, you know, keep a small circle. Yeah, man. That's what I do. I uh, mean, like, small you circle, know, close I love friends. everybody have... I went to high school with, but I really just have my small circle yeah. and like, that's enough for me. Yeah, yeah like you can have a bunch room. of acquaintances, but like a small exactly. circle, Amen. close friends. For sure. Exactly. Like a big thing too, like, you know, you, you know, a lot of people give me some hate, you know what I'm saying? Like they give me hate that I only really hang out with you guys. But it's just like, come on, dude. I, Who's I, hating? I'll, I'll break we won't their, name drop I'll break their kneecaps, guys. bro. Oh! <laughs> I love you for that. But we won't name drop them. Just get a bat at the back of my car. You know. <laughs> but you know what? Like, I've had friends who, who stayed Give my friends. Give that guinea good day. <laughs> like, I went running this morning. I went running with Joe, John, Joe Dom, and Jerry. Goddamn. Uh, Jerry Calillo. Yeah, I fucking love Jerry, yeah, man. We all, we all I haven't seen a, him in forever. Went for a run this morning. You know, I still talk to Shiretto. Like, people who... I don't call him enough. But you at the same what, time, like, dude, most of the people I hang out with, I've known since I was 15 or around there. Yeah. Like, Anderson, I've been friends with for almost 15 years. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't... The only long friend I have, I mean, also Emmanuel, De, Emmanuel Diaz. Well, I lost one about a year ago, but... Yeah, dude. Rest in peace, little Steve. Yeah. I mean, dude. You want to know something? It still kills me, dude. Me I lost you... him and Ian within, like, six months. Jeez. Let me tell you something about little Steve. I should have been there for him more he would hit me up dude as much as i oh was there God, for him i, I still like i said i still don't feel like it was enough you want to know dude it was i i i feel bad and i feel like it's just i'm gonna get emotional talking about it right now but it's like you know he would hit me up like hey let's hang like he actually really ended up liking me from those nights yeah at, like your house because you didn't treat him differently no, dude, he was f***ing hilarious. Yeah, like, we would... Dude, like, I'd bring when, him to Taco when, Bell sometimes, and he'd be like, no, don't touch me like that. And I'd be like, god damn it. Yeah, like, I'd be like... Like, when I asked him, I'm like, yo, what happened? Like, because he was in a wheelchair, and he was in... Like, he would tell me, I'm like, that f***ing sucks. Let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh, man. And we would just, like, joke around and laugh, or he would be, like, always hungry, but then never finish his food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like he'd, he'd be get like, like he'd get like three cheeseburgers and a large fry <laughs> at, at McDonald's and eat like half of the cheeseburger yeah. and half of the fry. Yeah, dude. And I'm like, and then and then like an hour later, instead of eating the food he has, I'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna go get some snacks. I'll be like, if I give you a couple bucks, will you go pick me up some? Like you got cheeseburgers right there, Steve. <laughs> Dude, I've literally played like Dynasty Warriors with him for like eight hours. I love straight. that game. Oh, I'll be. St- I got the new. The new One Piece, uh, the One Piece Pirate Warriors. Dude, I got. Oh, well, I'm I, I've I known. Like it. I've it's, known him since it's Dynasty Warriors. Since oh, the first day of. I got Hyrule Warriors. Si- Warriors. I haven't played it yet. Oh, I got. I met Fire him. I met him on my first day of sixth grade. Yeah, was I he- was friends with him since I was like twelve years old. And he got played a shit card. Like it yeah. wasn't even his fault. Yeah. He, you know, got a surgery, and. Uh, he got a surgery where they put dye. Into it, like die into his kidneys yeah. for like an MRI or something, mm-hmm. and it retracted back into his kidneys, Ooh. shut him down. Yeah, wow. so then he was on home dialysis by the time he was 25. Wow, great kid, though. Great, and you know, call him kid, like, yeah. He well, he always he, he always looked he younger looked, than he, he was, he was older than me. Yeah, he was he was just a good dude, and I can say this if, like, I mean, like, look, we, we're, we're talking about anything, we're also having some beers and chilling today, but. You know, with again everything going on, just don't don't distance yourself from people that need you. You know, this yeah. can all circle back to 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 what it is. Because one thing I will regret, yeah, unless you think you're sick. If you and think you, you're sick, yeah. text them. Don't go see them. Yeah, and you know what the thing is that makes me <laughs> upset is that I deleted my Facebook, right? Like my old Facebook, and I was friends with Steve on there. Yeah, and now I don't even. I can't. You even, can you can bring it back, or no? You fully I deleted can't, I it. Fully deleted it. Yeah. So I can't oh, wow. even. I can't even. Uh, Dude, like I can't even bring. I can't. I can't, request I can't bring myself to. <laughs> fucking, Look at this chibi. Make to to like delete contacts of people that are dead. My grandfather, little Steve, Ian. Yeah. Like I can't. Ian is somebody. I'll I'll say this. Too, yeah. You never really got along. I never got to apologize for that day. Yeah. Because my thing was is no, that we all have one of those. He's ones. he was really yeah. intense, and, and I, I was so I I was sober. He. <laughs> he wasn't at the time, and <laughs> he and I didn't mesh well, and I yeah. think that I didn't get to vibe 
what, and he I went think, really hard was, trying to find some common ground with you, and you just didn't take it the right way. And here's my thing about I can speak to that about myself. You know, I'm a I'm a I'm a fool me once kind of guy. You know what I mean? When yeah. you make the wrong impression with me, I write you off. And it's not. It's something I'm just wired that way. It's a defense thing for yeah. me. You know, like I, I'm, I'm. We all a, have our things, man. I'm, an, I'm old enough to admit it. You fool me once, you know, friendship's over. Friendship is done. Um, and I've seen that through friendships I've tried to mend. Like, I don't, I don't like them the same. I don't mess with them the same. Yeah. I, I look at them differently. Which, and then it feels like a chore to just try to get to know them and spend time with them. Yep. At that point. And like, I mean, I could say that for people, you know, that all of us know. Yeah. You know, it's hard, man. Like. You you we have you have bad blood with someone. It's hard to forget. I'm like I'm I'm 100 the type of person that cannot let things go. You yeah. know I just can't. I think that you know certain things for me, but but it just comes from being burned in your life. Yeah, you know like for me though, you have to do something really bad. Yeah, you watched the Sarah Gallardo interview. I did. I spoke about you know I was abused. I've been through stuff. You just don't trust people the same. You know, so like when when somebody treats you some type of way. You just have a deep sea. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I'll tell yeah. you one thing. It's a burden to do that to yourself. It's a burden to keep to keep hate in your heart. That's not just something like, so, so something I'll say lightly, you know, you will live your life with a lot of regret if you don't learn to forgive. And that's something that I've slowly had to do since being a dad and, you know, being a business owner and, uh, you know, swallowing my pride. There's times in this company I've had to swallow my pride when I thought I was right about things and I've had to openly open my heart to knowing I'm wrong, uh, have wonderful arguments with people, not horrible arguments, you know, things that I've learned to do as an adult and as a as trying to be the best leader possible for all of you. You know, I argue with Fran <laughs> all the time, but I never let... <laughs> I never let that net. I look at it as healthy arguments, healthy, yeah. healthy, wonderful arguments that we're arguing. Yeah, there's a way to argue healthily. Yeah, like we don't. Absolutely. I'm not looking at Fran like you stupid bitch. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm, like uh, I'm like, I'm like, hey, you know what? Like we're arguing about the same goal. We have we have a same goal, and that's building a company for all of you guys. But you see two different paths. Exactly. Yeah, we and you know what? Like sometimes he. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll say it very publicly. There's times Fran is super right, man. Like that I'm I'm not right. I have to literally be like, hey, we're gonna follow, we're gonna follow your way. And there's other times where, you know, I see a vision and Fran says, you know, I I wanna see, I I let's see how this vision plays out. And Absolutely. we we will take turns. It's a give and take to do this. And yeah. I never let those arguments All right. I'm glad it got less depressing real quick. Yeah, I never let those things like... <laughs> well, I love you, Chris. I love you too, bud. I never let those... I love you, Nick. I, I love, love all of you guys. guys in this room. <laughs> like, I never let those things dictate our personal relationship. Absolutely. Because that is something that you just can't do. Have a wonderful argument. You know who has yeah. that? You know who uh, used that term? Steve Jobs. I'm on a big thing right now. He like, is. <laughs> you sent me a message this morning. I, well, I'm learning about... If, and Chop also saw my paperwork. I'm writing... Uh, a principles of management paper and yeah. you have to select from a certain list and it's Google or, or Southwest airlines. Get a broken yeah, like, well, the, down, like, the downfall <laughs> of most managers is them. thinking they're above everyone else. Yeah. So yeah. I, it's just I, like how, yes, you are on paper, but you have to treat them like people or they're going to turn on yeah. you. So I chose absolutely. Apple and that was this thing. Like, you know, Steve jobs had this beautiful way of innovating ideas. And it's, it's something that people have tried to mimic. I mean, like, as much as, you know, I work for his top competitor, I also, you know, Are they really the top what competitor, he, I, I, though? They're number two? Number two. That's we what I like. Number two. That's what I like Huawei. to hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clip. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they, uh, he had wonderful ways of, of leading his people. And some people... Some people, like a lot of these people, a lot of our people will look at me and sometimes say, Chris is, Chris is crazy and controlling. And they said the same thing about Steve Jobs. You know, like he saw a vision, a dream, and said, I don't care. I will do it. To the point where he was even exiled from Apple for a long time, went to start his own company next that developed the software that we use on iOS. To then, I'm, like I said, I'm learning so much about Steve Jobs. Yeah. Um, well, it's a good model to follow. Know, and he, he like believed in these such cool ways of managing people. So yeah, I def definitely am like starting to 
take what he said and implement that into I, I, my favorite thing I, I read a little bit of that article you sent me this yeah. morning and um, my favorite part about that was his vision on how you know you should keep people where you know don't don't make like pay be like a, a scalable yeah. thing where like your manager you make more if if you're good in your job you should make more in your yeah. job don't promote you know I mean? people just exactly. to promote them yeah exactly pay them it. more for the position that they're actually working in mm-hmm. exactly you know if if you're a great actor I'm not just gonna make up a position for you I'm just going to, you know, pay you more for what you do. Because you're a great at Because you're great at that. So it's like capitalizing on that field without... Yeah. G- when you prom- We need yeah. more of that in the world, man. Well, yeah, Absolutely. Well, you like know, I break my balls every day at work, and I get like I get paid the same as people who are like 10 years younger than me sometimes. Yeah. Me too, bro. Yeah. Oh. It kills me, dude. Like, I have what? a car to pay for. Like, I mean, I have kids like Chop Saws over here. It's got even more bills than me. But like, I got I got a house. I got a, a like my parents are old. Me and my brother are gonna have to pay rent on the two houses they own, yeah. and or you know pay the mortgage anyway, yeah. and got cars to pay off and, and all this other shit. Yeah. It's just like I'm an I'm a I'm a goddamn adult. You can't pay me these chump wages, man. No, absolutely. You know, I really feel like it's shifted in Connecticut where you almost kind of have to like start investing in properties mm-hmm. in order to get by. You know what I mean? Like you kind of have to buy a place, rent it out. But at the so same time, kind of I don't want to be that person that's making my living off the suffering of others. Yeah, true. Who are like who are who are rent. scraping by day by day to be able to even pay to have a roof over their head? Absolutely. You know, because so it's insane here. I take people. Like, I take your situation, Chop's situation, Evan's situations. I take all of the lives that you guys live. And you'll even, you know, Frank can attest. I make it, like, my sole responsibility to give you guys better better lives and to work harder at this. Like, you guys deserve... That's one thing about Half-Life and being in Connecticut that makes it hard. You know, we have a very small audience of, of, of New Englanders who are angry and there's people all around the country that do the exact same that we thing we do and you know they succeed a lot more but the one thing that i can say that you know i'm sorry like i'm not even trying to like make enemies on this but the one thing i can say about our people is that no one has more passion than the half-life crew it's just there's just no way you know yeah. there's guys who work harder than than most grown men i know like and i not to say that you guys aren't grown men there are men well into their 30s, 40s who work a lot less and get a lot more than the guys who come to here, come yeah. into this office and make things work. And then we got people shit talking millennials. It's yeah. just like, you don't even know. He is my millennial and he's my he's, baby. He's not a millennial. What year were you born? 99? He's not a millennial. What's a millennial? Millennial is, is 96 it, to 81. Isn't that a Gen Y? Or we're oh, millennials. Wow. Yeah, we, yeah are millennials. we are millennials. People are going around talking Gen shit one. about us. They don't even know how hard You're we have to Gen work. One. We, By the time we hit adulthood, dude, we were in a recession, and we had nothing we could do. We also went We had through. to hustle. You know what the other thing, too, is? Like, you know, let me tell you another thing, too. No other... No, not since our grandparents were children have any... Of us gone through, I'm have three beers. Have totally got me all weird. <laughs> all but, weird. I'm almost through number four. I got a. <laughs> I'm yeah, not I'll a drinker anymore. But um, I've been since I we got have single, been through, dude. We oh, have been through. Hit the phone, dude. Got that sticky that case, bad. bro. We have <laughs> that sticky case. Dude, give was. that. Give that a second, or get ready to chug it. <laughs> oh god. Remember I one won't. thing too. We have come through the. We have been in the craziest, um, you know economy change like yeah we've been through recessions but think about how the world works now yeah how i was i was are. born before the internet i was part of the first generation to have to learn how to incorporate it into your life and we grew up with people older than us telling us oh why are you spending so much time in electronics blah 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 blah, blah. it's just like now Setting look us at up it for it is part of your life everybody's life Mm-hmm. You can't get anywhere unless you know how to use You'll this. You'll never shit. have a calculator, but yet we still teach kids the same Dude, old. I was way five. On I knew I, when I was five. I knew how to hook up a Nintendo to a TV. Yeah, <laughs> same. Yep. Dude, color. You know why color, they sent color, me? Because I was done. small enough to get behind the TV. <laughs> you, you were small. You, well, I used to be. Yeah, I was. I was. A kid never have I ever been small. <laughs> but right. but you know we have gone through the biggest like technological shift 
in any time of our. It's getting crazy. You know, like when our grandparents were kids and cars were becoming like a thing. Well, think about it. What? That's an industrial change. Yeah. But we're actually in like a hundred years ago, like trains were a thing and cars were new. Yeah. yeah. And like there was no computers. But now we're in a crazy industrial change. Well, like and it's happening. It's happening at an exponential rate because yeah. of how far everything's but gotten. Even, even now, it's it has the. It's not stopped since 2010, dude. It will never stop. The biggest leap. Like, you know, we used to think malls were the shit. Everyone wanted to go to the mall. Oh, malls yeah. Malls are closing down because Amazon. Now you can, now it's like, ever F being the shit, yeah. I can play Fortnite. I can have this delivered to my house. And I online, can... you can find the cheapest price for any one product. Exactly. And now it's all, and it's delivered to your house the next day. So it's like the world is continuously changing. At the same time, though, if shit hits the fan with something like the coronavirus, it's going to shut down everybody who lives like that. True. I think that the more we you deal with things like the coronavirus, I think that this is going to change. I think that... I think remember, that, man, the next virus is going to be stronger, absolutely. faster, more deadly. Now, here's where I, I will debate that. I think that now, more than ever, with the hysteria that we've been through, when we went through things like H1N1 or H1M1, Swine that flu. was definitely when, overblown. When we went through swine flu, we were still not technologically connected as much as we are right now. Facebook was still in its early Dude, years. every day it gets more and more. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. It, it, Facebook was still in its early years. Twitter was only a couple years old at that point. I think uh, Twitter came out in 2008. Um, swine flu was like around and, that time. In 2010. Yeah. Swine flu became a thing. Let's let's fact check 100% so we're not Weird. giving people anything. But the internet and the way we social media and things are connected. 2006. Uh, was Twitter? Yep. So, so yeah, still, then like four, 08, I was like 18 yeah, when swine four flu years, came around. Yeah, four still very new. 4G was still very new at this time too. Yeah. You know, with now that, we're getting into like five. Exactly. And now, you know, we go through all these things. So I think that now that the hysteria has become such a crazy pandemic through the entire country that we can't let our CD, our country is never going to be the same after this. Need another one? No, I'm all set. All right. Our country what? will. No, I was <laughs> our country, lightweight. How we deal with viruses and pandemics will. We will never, we, the citizens of the U.S., will never allow this to be the same. No, we, absolutely. We agree. aren't going to let We're going to learn from this. Yeah. Because now that people are so connected, we're going to see the pandemic, and now we're going to be like, well, we need to get ready for the next virus. That's going to be the thing. We need to get ready for that times 20 of the influenza. We need to find the cure for this. We need to find this. At the this. same time, though, it might be its own self-fulfilling prophecy where we try to find all these cures for crazy mutated super viruses and we end up making one. Yeah, true. You know, who's, do it. you know who's really doing well Let's right do now? Let's do it. Those doomsday preppers. Mm. They're sitting there in their bunkers going, yeah. But you know what? <laughs> At the same time, this isn't Covered what I knew it was coming. Cans of beans. <laughs> this isn't what doomsday should have been. Blue? <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, I just. Well, I mean, if it gets worse, if it gets worse to a certain point, they're gonna start nuking everybody to make sure it's dead. Oh. Although that's an exaggeration. Please, <laughs> I'll tell you one. thing, I saw bro. some news, not to talk shit or anything, but I saw some news that in China, there was a hotel that they put all the quarantine people in, and then it just happened to collapse itself on itself. And the, the whole the hotel oh, it collapsed on just happened. Just the happened the hotel to, pulled an Epstein. The whole uh. the hotel just like that was full of people who were quarantined with coronavirus just happened to collapse on itself. That's that sounds fishy, like some cover fishy up shit, stuff, man. man. Fishy well, stuff. you know, I, I'll tell you one thing. You know, big thing that gets talked about a lot is population and population control. Dude, that's why like that's why I'm not freaking out about it because it's like we kind of need half a million people to die. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, hey, pause. <laughs> what? We do not. Nothing against anyone personally. I'm just saying the world's already overpopulated. Water, water cl uh, cleanliness is a huge issue right now. True. Well, all right. Listen, you're pulling a Master Asia from G Gundam. He yeah. pulled that. He, he, <laughs> he believed that the entire world should be eradicated and that we should start over. Not the entire world, man. Just a nice chunk. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, Dwight Schrute shed it, too. I'll send you a clip. To Dwight Schrute. Uh, Dwight Schrute, send. We need a new plague, and that's how we're going to end to this week's episode. So, guys, oh my God. I'm going to send you the clip. Uh, you can clip this part. But if you I want, said, there's a nice uh, Guar song called A New Plague. So, <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys oh this. If you are interested in sanitary, you know, make sure you give Limpy X a call. If you're looking for wellness to keep your guys' selves cleaned, uh, you know, check the CBD at Remedy. I've definitely given them my make top spot. Make you feel spot. good. Make you feel great. Um, 
please wash your hands. Wash your hands. As much as possible. And we will link down to the CDC website for anyone who still wants to un- understand updates on the coronavirus since this is a week out. Um, all updates will be posted on there. Guys, just try to, you know, be reasonable with what you're buying. Be, you know, don't, don't do the things you're doing. This is not how we prepare. And Cal- sneeze into your elbow. Calculated approaches. Vampire cough. Vampire cough. Calculated. That's just make sure you aim your elbow cough. right, or you're just going to end up, like, putting it high and sneezing down. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, links down in the description. Please, if you're deciding, deciding to quarantine yourself, give me a follow on twitch.tv slash half life star. I stream five days a week on the newest games. Um, Do you have Amazon Prime? You could Twitch subscribe with your Amazon Prime. We'll link the how to in the description just so that you can make it a little bit easier for yourself. <laughs> um, and if you decide to give Half Life that, that uh, Twitch Prime sub, we have amazing incentives that will be also announced in such a short amount of time if you're interested in joining the community of halflings come on down to facebook we'll link the description over there too we have a whole facebook group full of friends of the show Uh, we talk every day so please come check us out and with that being said here's the clip of dwight Schrute. have a good day everyone wow these people here there's too many people on this earth we need a new plague who are all these people a few inches later